So this is how you can use the motion pointer on the Apple Watch. So motion pointer is an accessibility feature which you can enable on your Apple Watch and a cursor or a pointer actually shows up on the screen of the Apple Watch, which is very useful because you don't even have to touch the screen if you don't want to. So it's very like a great feature if you need it. But essentially open up the watch app of your iPhone and then go to the accessibility section. And inside of there, you can scroll down until you basically find the assistive touch. At first, it has to be turned on, so make sure it is there. And then you can find the motion pointer. So there are some things which you can change, but at the bottom, you have the dwell control. And this is the thing that we want to enable. So right next to it, ensure that the green toggle is enabled. There is a timer action. We'll, we'll get to that in just a second, but make sure that the shake to start is turned on. And right now, when we move over to the Apple Watch, you can see that the screen looks normal and everything is fine. But when you shake the Apple Watch, like a little pointer appears on the screen and you can move it around the, the screen by the movement of your wrist. And when you hover it over something like a toggle, it gets pressed, right? So instead of clicking on it with your finger, you can use this like virtual pointer in order to locate the, the thing that you want to click on. There's going to be like a little countdown to ensure that you really want to like confirm that. And then you can see that it just gets clicked. Then at the top, you have a couple of options which allow you to just keep on using this like uh, pointer or you can also pause it, right? So this is the thing that you can set up inside of the settings so you can choose the action menu or a tap point and just figure out which option is better for your use case, right? So sometimes you may not like the menu that is popping up, but perhaps you want to keep it. Whatever the option is, you get to pick it right here. So that's a very quick explanation of how it works. Let me know below in the comments if you find this feature useful or if you have tried it before. Most definitely subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this one and I will catch you later.